plastic and paper. Have you ever thought that in addition of becoming garbage, the development phase of these materials affects nature? Paper is made with paper, wastes of cloth and cellulose of tree trunks, a polymeric compound of glucose units that forms fibers of different sizes, which are held together by linking a cellular substance that gives firmness and hardness to the fibrous structure. Besides making it flexible, resistant to deformation, and difficult to dissolve in water, also much paper is reused to manufacture more paper to meet the demand for this material. It is necessary to cut down trees, for which machines that use fossil fuels and large amounts of water are used. Plastic is made mainly from petroleum products. To obtain it, there is a long and complex procedure to obtain polyethylene, the substance with which most of the plastic objects are produced. Although it seems a contradiction, the energy cost and the environmental impact of making plastic is less than making paper, although they are also significant. Paper can be recycled or thrown away. If it is reused, it only resists through reuses because in each use, it loses the fever that gives it its resistance. If it is thrown, its degradation time can take up to a year. Only if the environment is rainy and it's on the surface, its biodegradation accelerates. Plastic can have the same destination, recycling or garbage, but it takes much longer than paper to degrade. If your destination is recycling, it is accumulated, clean and remelted to make new product. It can be recycled more times than paper, either along or mixed with other plastics. It is said that they take between 400 and 1,000 years to degrade. It's been 84 years. Recently, it has been possible to produce biodegradable plastic with fish scales through a physical process of temperature and compression without needing the use of water, fuels, or chemical synthesis process. Sturgeon scales have collagen in their structure which acts as a natural polymer. The Acetobacter vinylandi is not a new terminator. It is a bacteria present in soils and roots of plants that when multiplied by 10 its capacity, produces two types of biodegradable plastics or biopolymers of extraordinary purity and no environmental impact. Its greatest benefit lies in the possibility that in the long term, they may replace petroleum-based plastics since the same bacteria that composes it are responsible for degrading it when they use it as a carbon source in a process that will take between three and six months. Now we know what it means to produce paper and plastic and the way in which science moves so that more friendly materials exist to not damage our environment.